Everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Listen, we are talking about 1969. We're talking about Chevelle Supersports. Already great conversation, right? This right here, if you're looking for an authentic numbers matching, all original down to the, to the steering box and bias supply tires, this car is not for you. If you're looking for a car that's like that car but significantly nicer, then stay watching the rest of this video because I'm gonna tell you as I point out the details of this car here, it's exactly the way you would build it, it's exactly the way you would want it, and when you see what goes on inside, as well as a three inch folder of restoration receipts, I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. This car just has such a great look and a great stance. I wanna point out some of the things that make a car perhaps look better than others, and perhaps some detail stuff that you wouldn't even see or know about unless I shared it with you. For instance, this, these are 15s and not the standard 14s that would have come on the car. They're twice as wide and 25% uh, taller as far as uh, overall rolling diameter of the wheel and tire. So it handles and drives much better. Sounds good so far. Secondly, filled with nitrogen. You know if somebody's filling their cars with nitrogen, they are building the nicest car they can for themselves. This isn't a car that somebody flipped. He owned this car for a really long time and uh, they were downsizing. That's the only reason it's become available for you right now. Buried inside here are big cross-drilled uh, disc brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, okay? That's what you want. You want big sway bars, you want big wheels and tires, you want uh, big brakes because we've got a big motor under the hood and uh, we have what I think is just, uh, just a great build quality. So that looks great. Who cares about all that? What we care about mostly is shiny paint. Shiny paint this is Cortez silver with the black callouts on it. Looks so, so good. And normally we would do the, uh, uh, the test here, but anytime you have Cortez silver cars and white cars because there's so much light in here, uh, you really can't see it. So what I like to do is make sure you can see the quality of paint. And you know that a lot of people have spent time here right working on it and they don't spend time on the sides wet sanding buffing whatever however this car is different it looks even better uh, on the sides check that out you see all those letters nice and clear just great and that beautiful ss396 call out t is going to show us on his way out look at that right there looking good this is what this car looks like going down the road however you're going to spend most of your time inside all right so you're walking up to your uh, mean machine super sport right but you know you're just going to walk up this once in a while where you're going to spend most of your time and that's in here we need to spend some time in here because inside here is super super nice all right so let's get in here and check that out all right what do we got going on here we have all brand new interior all new buckets foams seat covers console even little things like like the touches, here's the touches that I say make for a nicer car. This has an overdrive transmission in it. So typically they would have one, two, three as the gear selector. This is a, a fourth position. So in it is one, two, three, and then overdrive. They've done that, they've given the thought to that. Air conditioning is in here and it's really nicely done. It's all here, it's not a big giant box hanging underneath the dash. Controls look very authentic. Digital sound system upgrade right here, okay? Streaming your music too if you want to. In here we have a tack inside the gauge is a factory looking. This car looks bone stock as you look around it. Only to like a judge would you would he say, oh you can't have that or you can't have that. Who cares? I don't want that. I want overdrive. I want air conditioning. I want more power under the hood. No one's ever said, you know what, that's uh, too much power. I would like less power. No, no one's ever said that. Anyway, the dash is all restored. Um, full factory gauges. This is just a beautiful, beautiful car. When you get this car, uh, we have some mats coming for it as well. Uh, if you see this video and you purchase it before we, uh, before we order the mats, because the car just arrived, uh, you can pick out whether you want to say SS, Chevelle SS, SS 454, 396, whatever you want. Anyway, awesome, awesome car. Imagine going to dinner with another couple in here. There's lots of room in the back. Uh, you can also uh, take the kids for a drive with you as well. The rumble, the sound of the feel of this car is awesome. And then you throw in the air conditioning on a hot day. It is amazing. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood here and see what we got. So we're talking about maybe you wanna to go to a car show. You're gonna open this hood and people are gonna say, wow, that is beautiful. And you wanna see, let's talk about why this is beautiful, right? All new air conditioning system, this polished piece here, all this, this is painted and detailed, all the fasteners are new, all the wiring is new, the call outs are great. I mean, this is just really, really well done. It's got the cool, correct valve covers on there. It's all dressed up like a 396, but remember, we have a 454. 
We got a lot more power than the 396 came with. We have the overdrive automatic as well. We have power steering, right? We have power four wheel disc brakes, even nicer. That's why you get that great drive and you can see there's insulation put in the hood. Uh, the, the entire, it isn't all spray bombed one color. Everything is a different color because it's all kind of new. And then here's the best battery you can buy, an optimum battery. These are the little signs and clues that say, you know what, some cars are nicer than others. Okay, so included in that three inch folder of receipts is receipts for new bumper, new lenses, new taillight trim, new trunk trim, new door locks, new glass, new this, new that, new that. I show this because it looks so good in here for a reason, because it's all new. Typically you're gonna see glass uh, that has fine scratches in it from years, or when they did the body, you see those grind marks in there. Not the case here, all this is new, right? Back here, you got the correct exhaust, it looks super good. You got the 12 bolt hanging down, you got the F41 suspension, big sway bar down there. Lastly, um, there are a couple clues for me since I look and do this all the time that say some cars are nicer than others. And here's why I say when I say that. In this trunk, like listen to that first off. Somebody spent some time putting that together. Secondly, we have a full size spare, right? We have a jack in here. Most of the cars we get do not come with that. Secondly, we have a car cover. You say, oh, Tone, doesn't every car have a car cover? No, it does not have a car cover. This car was garaged and had a car cover inside the garage, double protected. Come on, man, seriously? This guy loved this car. Jacking instructions, positive traction warnings here, nice soft seals for when it was painted. They replaced all of those weather stripped and seals. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When you get a car, these little details make some cars worth more than others. All right, so we close up this video with a, with a Chevelle that's amazing. Really, it really is. Think about this. This car looks authentic as any other SS396 Chevelle might look authentic all the way down to stripes and emblems and what have you. However, what's buried underneath is why this car is so much better than a standard car. We got the big block 454 in there for way more power than the 396, okay? Overdrive automatic. Overdrive automatic. You can go to the beach in this car. You can go out to dinner far away, 50, 60 miles if you want. Air conditioning, digital radio upgrade, all new interior inside, all new glass, all new emblems, wheels, tires, bearings, steering box, on and on and on, and a folder like that of receipts. If I'm owning a car, if I'm building a car, or if I wanted to buy a car, this is the way I'd wanna own it because it's, it's, it's just a better driving car and a real, real great uh, uh, piece to own, all right? Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this super, super cool, super sport. How super is that, all right? And uh, don't forget to like that at the bottom of the video there if you would please. And if you would share that with your friends, that would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think you'll find some new content coming out all the time. And while I work on getting this in your garage, let's go for a test drive. New is just nice. I mean, when it's new, it's new. It just kind of starts, runs and drives like it's supposed to. Listen to that, just fires right up. When you're getting the Chevelle, man, there are so many different types of Chevelles, but the once in a while you get one that's done the way you wanted to get it done. And I feel like this is it. Like, think about what I'm talking about. This got the 454 in it, dressed up like a 396, the whole car, but it's got a 454 overdrive automatic, all new suspension, pictures of the restoration, new dash, new carpets, new headliner, new everything on the car, thick folder receipts, and it drives just like it's supposed to. It's exactly what you're looking for. Can you imagine going to dinner uh, with the kids or another couple in this versus your SUV. Like your SUV is a great truck, right? It's an awesome vehicle. It's your daily driver, but it is no 69 Chevelle. We're wheeling some back roads, rising up and down. Listen to this. This car just goes, man. It's like zero effort for this thing to rocket down the road. 
and it's smooth, it's not rattling, the AC's blowing ice cold. <laughs> this is so much fun. Wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. I've had a great time. I'm just gonna keep on wheeling. I may not come back. Uh, if I don't do any more videos, you know what happened. I kept on driving. But I will see you on the next drive, hopefully. <laughs>